Patrick, excuse me. Oh. Okay, I called ahead. We have two units of bean egg on the way to Okay, we need at least four. I know. We've got Kristen Schmidt. Go solve it. How? Things on your feet, Schmidt. That's the job. Okay, Kristen, we're almost there. Watch out, watch out. A placental abruption. How bad is that? Honestly, it can be very dangerous, but she's in the best of hands here. And the baby? They will do everything they can to keep them both safe. <laughs> Schmidt, what? What? Blood. Blood. Take it. No, we, we need this blood. They both have the same blood type. They're both being negative. Take it. Take it to my wife. No, we need some of this blood. No, the... take it all to my wife. Save my wife. Oh uh, all right, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, sorry. Hey, Schmidt! Kristen's having an abruption. Simon, if she had an abruption, that means they're delivering the baby. It will only take a few minutes. Take me off this machine. Give all my blood to my wife. Save my wife. Save my child. I'm a dead man. If you unplug that machine, I'm gone. Save them. Please. Do you have to turn it off now? No. The circuit can continue to work. Without fresh blood products, there's a much higher chance of you bleeding or clotting. But there's a chance. There's a chance I'll meet him. There's a chance. Simon, it has been a tremendous privilege to be your doctor. It's been a gift to witness your love story. I never imagined a great love in my life. I always pictured my child, but never my wife. And then I met Kristen, and she changed me. She noticed every little thing about me. My fear, my shame, my doubt. She pulled all the secrets out of me, and she held them to the light. She loved me. And little by little, she showed me how to love myself. And if that is not a life well lived, I don't know what is. Tell her that, will you? That's the last bag, Dr. Pierce. Okay, I have to clamp her uterine arteries. I have to take the uterus. Dr. Pierce, can you suction so I can see better? You got it. You got no 